it's Aisha Bo here and today I'm going to walk you through my daily skincare routine. on AishaBow.com and yes y'all I delivered two videos this week you should be very proud of me yesterday I did a video on body care and maintaining my body's moisture using the brand butter by Kiba I'm gonna put a link up top so that you can check it out for yourself but wait to check it out until after you watch this video <laughs> today I'm gonna be talking about my daily skincare routine skincare is so so important to me I mentioned it a little bit along the way during this video but but I think that it's so important, especially for someone like me who genuinely enjoys makeup, taking care of that skin underneath it is so important. And having a skincare routine that you do daily, nightly to preserve your skin, preserve the youthful glow of your skin is super important. And being able to choose whether or not I wear makeup and feeling comfortable in my skin is something that I'm really happy about and makes me feel really proud and confident in a way. And skincare is definitely an act of self-care. So I know it might take a little bit of time, you know, with a few steps, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. And you know, these products that I'm gonna mention in the video, they work for me, and I'm not saying that you need to use these exact products to make your skin flawless. All I wanna do is just show you my process and hopefully inspire you to take your skincare routine a little bit more seriously or to look into different products or product types that might help and enhance your skincare and make you feel confident and have that beautiful, youthful, not even youthful, but that beautiful, dewy glow that I absolutely love. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk you through everything from my favorite cleansers, serums, toners, to moisturizer, and yeah, you'll see my entire process. So without further ado, I'm gonna get right into this video, but before I do, be sure to hit that subscribe, subscribe button and that bell icon so you know my next video goes live. All right, let's get into it. Hi everyone, here I am out of the shower. I've moisturized my body and now it's time for me to take care of the skin on my face. So the first thing that I do within my skincare routine every single time is I make sure to wash my hands. I think it's so important that we wash our hands before we put on our skincare routine because either we're putting lotion onto our bodies and then that lotion that's not meant for our faces can get into our cleanser and other skincare products that we're using with our hands or our hands are just dirty. <laughs> so it's really, really important that you wash your hands before you begin your skincare routine. I know it sounds like a very simple step, but a lot of times we don't really think about that aspect. So I just wanna put it out there and make it known that it's super, super important. So I'm just gonna wash my hands with regular soap and water. <laughs> and then get started. Okay, so now that my hands are washed, we can actually get into it. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on lukewarm water and I'm gonna splash that onto my face. The reason I'm using lukewarm water is because I want to open up my pores. If we use cold water, that's gonna tighten up the pores. Hot water is gonna to be too harsh on our skin, so lukewarm water is your best bet. Okay, so <laughs> now that my face is wet and glistening, I'm going to add on the Glossier Milky Jelly. This is my absolute favorite cleanser because it is very, it's, it's very gentle on the skin, but it's also super, super effective. The great thing about the Glossier Milky Jelly is that it also, along with it being a traditional cleanser, it also acts as a makeup remover. Um, not to say that you shouldn't already prior to putting this on. I like to use either a makeup remover wipe or the face halo um, to get rid of the surface level of my makeup, and then I go in with this to get the rest of it because a lot of times with a makeup remover wipe 
it doesn't get everything off. So that should not be the only step in your skincare routine. A makeup remover wipe and then going to sleep is not always the best, unless you come home drunk. <laughs> then it's fine. <laughs> You'll handle it in the morning. So I also really love this product because there is, um, they have some ingredients in it that are also similar to ingredients that are in um, contact solution and that makes it very easy to glide across your eyes and it doesn't sting when it gets into your eyes or anything. It's not harsh at all, which is great, especially if you have on any mascara or eyeshadow that you need to get off. You can really get in there and make sure you're getting everything off. So I'm just gonna continue with the circular motions on my face um, for the remaining amount of time and then I'm going to rinse it off again with lukewarm water this time. Oh, and I do want to note, <laughs> so I was on the phone with my mom last night and I was talking to her about this video and she says that she always gets all of her hair on her hairline soaking wet when she's washing her face. Well, the first thing I do is I always make sure that I'm wearing a bonnet whenever I wash my face and also very mindful of my hairline. Um, I think it's okay if you don't get your skincare all the way up here. <laughs> it's completely fine. So I try to keep it here. And the only thing that really gets wet are my little like baby hairs, I guess. Um, so as I'm washing my face, I try to do this. I'm going here and I'm mindful about where exactly I'm wiping my face up. And I do this when I'm actually down there by the sink as well. So I'm just going like this so that I don't get any. Again, it's okay if you get the little hairs right here. You know, slick them down a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, I don't really go too crazy and like wash everything up here. So, that's what I do. Happy mom, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> okay, and now that I've finished washing my face, I'm going to just pat my face dry. I'm not going to scrub it dry or irritate it because sometimes, depending on the cleanser that you're using, if you have either slightly more sensitive skin or you have acne prone skin, um, sometimes your face can feel really kind of like raw after a cleanser. Um, the good thing about this cleanser is my face feels moisturized still because it's like a, a milky jelly cleanser and the properties that are in it make my face feel nice and moisturized and not stripped, which is really great. So the next thing I'm going to go in is with a new product actually that I've been using recently. It's by Dr. Organic and it's their Rose Restoring Facial Toner. And the good thing about toners is they help to rebalance the pH on your face. And also a lot of toners help with evening the skin tone <laughs> um, and helping to fade dark marks. So I'm just gonna go in. I have I finally got some of these little cotton round thingies <laughs> from Glossy. I think they were maybe like eight bucks or something. Um, because if you saw one of my previous Get Ready With Me videos, I was using regular cotton balls. <laughs> Which doesn't matter, you can use either or. I just decided to be cute and fancy and get these. So, going through with the toner. Alright. And look at that, look at that, nothing on it, which is awesome. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my eye cream. Um, the eye cream that I absolutely love. This is my absolute favorite eye cream ever. It's by Biosance and it's their Squalane Peptide Eye Gel. And the great thing about this eye gel is that I actually feel it working. So it, you feel it, like when you put it on, it, has, it like tingles a little bit. And the great thing about like the peptides and the Squalane is that it helps with, like, it's like a nice antioxidant and it helps to restore the plumpness under your eyes and it fades the dark spots or the darkness that happens under our eyes for a various amount of reasons and this just brightens up the under eye area and makes it appear more plump and as you can see i'm applying it here and i'm using my ring finger this is the lightest finger um, it has the gentlest tap of all your fingers and you have to be very gentle under your eyes because your under eye area is super super sensitive um, and it can puff up or flare up you know if it's being um, treated too harshly so I'm just going to go in and I'm gently tapping my under eye area um, if you're someone with aging skin using an eye cream and going out and around here as well is really good because it helps with the under eye wrinkles that sometimes form on the side of your eyes as well so I like to just tap in right here and then I'm going to go in with some serum 
and this serum that I'm using is by Dr. Robux. It's their Perky Serum, and it's their Collagen Boosting Serum. So it has one of my absolute favorite ingredients in it, along with some peptides as well. It also has hyaluronic acid, and hyaluronic acid is the best ingredient when it comes to restoring moisture in your skin and helping with your skin's radiance and luminous luminance <laughs> because it's just so so moisturizing and it really really helps to bring out that shine in your skin and to help with aging skin and to make it appear um, with less wrinkles and spots so love anything that has hyaluronic acid it's great for all skin types um, especially those of us with combination skin so obsessed with it um, i'm already seeing my face come back to life it was looking a little dry <laughs> when i first started the video because i had like waited too long out of the shower so now that i put those on the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with a moisturizer so a moisturizer is a very very important step in your skincare routine i feel like oftentimes moisturizers are kind of just like thrown by the wayside but your moisturizer is what helps to really lock in the moisture and helps to maintain that moisture throughout the day. And not just the moisture, but it locks in everything that you've done up until now. So all these steps that I've just done would be in vain if I didn't add a moisturizer at the end. It's kind of like a protective barrier for a lot of the, um, I guess the elements <laughs> outside. And the moisturizer that I'm gonna be using is the Dr. Organic Aloe Vera Hydrating Moisture Cream. Um, this is a really nice cream because it has aloe vera in it and that has like healing and calming properties so it's really nice and gentle on the skin which is great so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face and I know my nose gets really really dry especially in the winter so I try to pay special attention to adding product over there as well I don't know if you can see this I don't know if I held it up high enough but yes <laughs> So I'm just gonna add this on to my face. And a lot of times with the eye cream that you put on, it has its own moisturizing properties. So I generally try to stay underneath the eye cream when I'm adding in my moisturizer because I've already done that step. And again, as I mentioned, the under eye area is very, very sensitive. So I'm not trying to do too much manipulation down there making sure I get my eyelids, your eyelids do get dry, so <laughs> you gotta take care of that as well. And that is my moisturizer. Now, that is generally what my skincare routine consists of, but there is one last step, um, a product that I was recently introduced to, I actually mentioned it in my last Get Ready With Me video, I think, and it's the Glossier Future Dew. And I love this product so much because do you see like right after the skincare routine you have like a nice like glow to you and a nice glow to your skin and sometimes after you do your skincare routine you're like oh yes my skin looks great and then a few minutes later everything kind of settles in and it's not as dewy as it was right after you did your skincare routine and the great thing about future dew is that it helps to kind of preserve that do on your skin, which I absolutely love. Try not to use too much of it. When I first got it, I was like going crazy and using a ton, but <laughs> I'm like slowing down a little bit, not using too, too much. Um, it helps to maintain that do. Also, again, it helps to maintain the skin's radiance and it doesn't make my skin look oily or greasy, which is really, really nice. And this product, I actually don't mind putting it on my under eye area. I just get really, really, I'm just like very, very intentional about how I add it down there. My under eye area is, like I mentioned, it's very sensitive for me especially, um, and it's <laughs> my biggest insecurity, so I try to go as gently down there as possible. So, add the future do on, and, ooh, voila. So, that is it. <laughs> that is my 
um, daily skincare routine, I pretty much use the same product right now. It's the morning, um, and that is like my morning skincare routine right out of the shower. That's what I do before I put my makeup on. Taking care of your skin underneath the makeup is so important because it makes the makeup pop even more. Your makeup looks best when you've taken care of your skin underneath it because makeup is not supposed to be something to hide your skin. It's something that's, help, that's supposed, supposed to help enhance your skin, enhance your look, and um, it's supposed to make you look like you, but better. <laughs> so that's my daytime routine. At night, it's pretty much similar. The only thing that I add on is I'll probably swap out my moisturizer for a night cream, something that's a little bit heavier, um, so that it can really, really like lock in and retain that moisture at night because at night you kind of get dehydrated, you're sleeping for eight hours, not drinking any water or anything. So it's really important that you preserve that moisture in your face, in your hair, on your skin. So you want to use products that really lock in moisture as you're going to bed. And the last item that I do use in my skincare routine, but I only do it once a week, is the Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack Mask. And this is a detoxifying face mask. This is my absolute favorite face mask ever. Um, this face mask is, one, it detoxifies my skin after a long week, so that's why I use it once a week on Sundays, but also when I see any like pimples coming up or I can see any small bumps and whatnot, I like to use this because it literally does as it says. It detoxifies my face. And a lot of times I'll put this on at night if I have a pimple coming up or if I have a pimple that's already there. And the next day that pimple will be smaller or completely gone, which is amazing. It's like a game changer. I like to call it my secret weapon because it is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite mask ever. Um, so yeah, that is my skincare routine. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Here, let me take my button off. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. Bonnet off. Hello, hello, I'm a human again. Um, Y'all know I work from home, so I'm about to just go get behind the desk and do some work for the day. I actually am uploading a video today. <laughs> this video that I'm recording right now is going to come up tomorrow. And then I'm going to upload another video today, if that makes any sense. But thank you, as always, for watching my video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you know my next video goes live. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I always reply to my comments. I love comments so much. It just makes me feel like I'm actually interacting with all of you. So don't hesitate to ever leave a comment. Thank you again. Until next time.